Debbie Sterling joins us this morning. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. So you were one of the few women with um, in your engineering classes at Stanford. You have an engineering degree from Stanford. How did that influence your idea to come up with this new type of toy? Well, it just really bothered me that there were so few women in engineering. It's one of the fastest growing jobs in the U.S. and we frankly just need more girls and women. I started doing research and found girls start losing interest in those subjects as young as age eight. So I wanted to go in there with a toy that would inspire them and spark that interest at a young age. And why do you think toys can have an influence? Toys are so influential to helping us kind of decide what our interests are, what we might want to be when we grow up, and what we like to do. And when girls are inundated with dolls and princesses, not that there's anything wrong with that, mm -hmm. but yeah. they should have more options. Math and science and building should be fun and appropriate for them too. I was one of those little girls waiting for Barbie's dream house to come out and getting a date with Ken, so I think, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> but so when you were a little girl, were you a little nerdy girl interested in science and engineering? Did you like dolls or were you just a different kind of little girl at your age? Oh, I was pink and dressed up and princesses all the way. And what's interesting is that when I was a senior in high school, my math teacher told me I should try engineering. And, and you thought what? I didn't know what it was. Oh. I pictured a train driver, <laughs> but it stuck in my head. It's not every day somebody tells you what you might be good at. And I tried it out in college and I fell in love with it. But I'm so lucky there must be so many girls like me who never would have thought about it. Yeah. How are these toys different? It? I did a ton of research into what would appeal to girls and what would get them interested in engineering. And what I found is girls love stories and characters. Mm -hmm. And so instead of the instruction manual that comes with a typical construction toy, Goldie Blocks is a series of books starring Goldie, the girl engineer, who is a role model, and she solves problems by building machines, and girls get to build along with her. You know, it's fascinating because I'm a mother of three kids. I have two girls, I have one boy, they're all young, and you see early on the divergence in the type of toys that they play with. But there are things like this and like Rainbow Loom where girls are very interested actually in creating things, but there are a dearth of toys to meet that need. I grew up loving making things. I didn't play with construction toys, but I built forts and I built huge <laughs> towers out of sugar packets. And so I think for every girl that loves arts and crafts and making things and creativity, engineering could be a great route for them. Let's take this out and draw it a little bit bigger. But, you know, why this is important in terms of having women engineers, there's so few women in the STEM careers. There's a huge lack of women in STEM. Less than 25% of STEM majors are women. stands for, again. Yeah. It's science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. And engineers build our entire world. Every, this table I'm sitting at, this chair, this microphone, everything is built by engineers. And these things are things that we use every day. And when half of the population is female, but the majority of the things that we use are designed by men, we're just simply missing the female perspective. I love that you're doing this. I love the name of the company. I love what you're trying to do. And I'm curious about the reaction that you're getting from little girls. Little girl, it, the reaction is amazing. And at, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. They are inspired. They're building things. I got a handwritten letter from an eight-year-old the other day saying that it's her favorite toy and how much she loved playing with it. And then at the end, P.S., I want to be an engineer like you. What about and, the Beastie the, Boys? Yeah, tell us about that kerfluffle. What happened, Debbie, and how did you resolve it? So... Or we have put, you resolved it? We, we put out this video and we just thought we wanted to make engineering cool for kids. And Rube Goldberg machines are just the epitome of how awesome engineering is. And we thought if we made one out of toys, every little kid would want to make one in their living room. And they did. Mm -hmm. What's the reaction been from men? You know, it's interesting. I designed Goldie Blocks really wanting to appeal to girls and disrupt that pink aisle. And boys love it too. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's been a really pleasant surprise. But pink is still a dominant color. You want to disrupt the pink aisle, but you got a lot of pink on your packaging. You know, it's got a little bit of pink. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't want to get rid of pink entirely because yeah, girls I really agree. do love pink and purple. I didn't want them to skip it over. But I as agree. we expand the line, you're going to see new colors, new characters. We have a boy coming out, new engineering principles. So the best is really yet to come. All right. well, Congratulations. Incredibly, incredible job. innovation, Debbie Sterling. Thank you. Thank you.